Hello everybody. So I was uh, talking to Scott from the Ayahuasca Magic Group and uh, talk came of things like uh, addictions or bad habits or, or vices or stuff like that. Could be alcohol, could be smoking, could be anything. And um, he mentioned a thing he saw on Sananga, like a thing stuck to his head and sucking stuff out of it. And I made an image. I, mean, I was reminded of the movie um, Branded, where you have all these brain sucker, the, these things, these invisible brain sucking beings that would just suck energy out of people by... It'll do whatever you advise. Uh, reinforcing an allegiance to a certain brand. So a certain McDonald's or KFC-like entity would um, tempt a human into eating a lot of that junk food. So to get fat, to get more blah, to just keep feeding the blob, keep feeding the blob. And I made an image um, and things turned quite strange because as soon as I made it, the the software that I was making it on, it stopped working. Like it wouldn't save files anymore. I've reinstalled it a couple of times. It still doesn't work. And for years I didn't have any problems with it. Anyway, I made it and it, it was clear to me how this process of um, connection to plants and to spirits and entities works. It goes like this. Um, every, let's say every being, every out there spirit, entity, whatever you want to call it, has a certain body voltage range that it needs you to be at in order to be able to connect with you. Okay, so cigarettes or uh, alcohol will need you to be low body voltage, so a certain level of self-neglect in order to connect with you. That spirit needs you to drink to then pff, latch on to your stuff and then do its thing through you so speak through you act through you and so on and so forth so you can imagine this like a like a black tentacle that comes and comes to connect to your head but for it to be able to connect you have to have a cleared landing pad for it in your head in your in your field so what i'm saying is normally we have this um, electromagnetic field around us, this uh, aura, this aura or something, like whatever you want to call it, it's a field that just stays strong electrically and magnetically and it's like an immune system, like an energetic immune system. And when that's strong, let's imagine it's, it's white, then you can only connect to white type things in that range. Um, but suppose you have these black type beings, they need you to open a, a gateway in some part of your body or your mind or something for it to connect to latch on like a open a, a bridge to it if you don't have that bridge that being and that spirit can't connect if you don't take the, the physical molecule or do the thing like um, hang out with drinkers smokers pilled up people people you hate for instance if you don't hang out close to them then you won't be able to waste enough energy to lower your field so much as to connect with something nasty okay it doesn't work other beings let's see say from here like like the light here okay uh, the light oh synchronicity <laughs> it would like it can only connect to you if you prepare your body and if you keep it in such a range and i've seen this in my life like i will say i show up to help people and I can say, uh, hey, you can get me or the alcohol, me or the cigarette. If you like that thing, if you demonstrate allegiance to that low level of energy, I can't hang around. Because if I hang around, in, like, if, if we talk and you're drunk, I'm going to have to punch you. Like seriously, in, in two things, in two, three combo lines. Ooh, poltergeist, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> So, in two, three conversation lines, I'm going to have to start shoving people. Because otherwise, there's energy stealing going on. There's all kinds of things. Drunks and smokers do these things uh, without knowing that they do them. That's how it works. Self-neglect. Self so, anyway, what I wanted to say is that it's like a big, big network of associations and things. So, you have these 
light beings here and you have these dark beings here and every day you get to choose where you keep your energy level. If it's more high, you get you form more connections here. And basically then, once these being connect, uh, beings connect with you, they have, in a sense, a vested interest in keeping you on their energy level. Which, if it's high, it's very healthy for you. This is a symbiotic relationship. It's like, so psychedelics will do this. Um, and other things which are not plant-based. If you just meditate, if you connect to all kinds of spirit guides and things that... Many of them, most of them are symbiotic, so they will help you. Um, it will be very life expanding and health or cultivating to be connected with them. Others, the, the, the darker things, will be parasitical in nature. So you will be able to connect with them at a cost to you, which is often quite significant. And you can see this with alcohol, you can see this with cigarettes, you can see this with... Um, pharma industry pills all that xanax all that stuff the prozac the, the adderall it doesn't come free it doesn't all the stimulants the commercial stimulants the coffee the um mountain dew coca-cola any kind of brown water fizzly fizzy drink crap it, it's pff, just fires dopamine into your brain oh oh it's fun it's fun oh give me give me <laughs> it's not free it doesn't come free you get hooked you get hooked on that kind of cheap thing and it it cuts connection to certain emotional layers and levels that you're going to need later and maybe not have them and uh, so on okay so if you can picture this with me let's say there's two networks it's the black guys over here it's the white guys over here and i want to i want to stress this a bit that um i hear people talking about demons and they assume it's all bad Okay, everything with horns, everything with claws, everything reptilian, it's, it's absolutely not bad. Absolutely not. It's, you have to practice a lot more, um, being a lot more selective in particular about the things you're talking about. Because here's what I'm saying. Um, if you drink, if you smoke, I'm talking cigarettes, um, you're going to get yourself into low vibration, low energy. Bleh. And the kind of reptilians and demons and things you, you meet out there are not the kinds that I meet. Okay? I'm going to meet the wise ones and, the, the, you know, you can have a conversation and learn things and trade. And, you know, you're, to you're not talking to the, to the Russian soldier monkey guy at the door. You're talking to the mafia boss up there and the mafia boss has experience and he'll know that if you want to trade and if you have something nice to trade with uh, you're gonna be well taken care of okay so uh, I've, I've been dealing with all kinds of these dark beings I have to because I have clients that have them latched on and I have to know how to deal with them to to, to clear the matter um, and I'm saying if you yourself are clean if your energy is strong and high, if you don't have many holes in your aura where these things can latch on, you're going to get a very different treatment from anything demonic and, and dark than somebody who has a lot of open holes. Um, because the more open holes you have, the more, the more easy it is to intimidate you and to get you to do stupid, weird, self-destructive things. Um, Okay, so just if you just see these networks, you see you have the Sananga and the Bobinzana and the Ayahuasca and the mushrooms and the LSD and whatever else on this side. And also just things that don't rely on molecules, as I said. The meditation, the Aztec dancing or any kind of dancing, art, whistling, singing, love making, falling in love, all that stuff. You have this on in one direction. And then you have the fear stuff here. You have the Fox News. You have the... Rah, oh my god, it's, everything is falling apart, panic, Rah, right? You have to lower that energy to connect to that. If you connect to that, you basically empower that side of network. And these are larger than you or I. These are two archetypes, two networks, two uh, beings, like eternal beings playing chess, if you want.
Okay, and these guys have their soldiers and these guys have their soldiers. And the nervous systems of humans are one place where this is being played. So you can at any point align with, more with this team, more with this team, or find some sort of balance where you can like find a niche, a niche for yourself in the ecosystem where you can play, you know? So I'm, I'm not really aligned with these guys or these guys. I'm, I'm like Switzerland. I'm like more neutral. I'm, I'm just seeing processes and seeing in every case where I can help. Uh, sometimes I have to trade with dark beings because they'll say, Hey, I'll leave this woman or this guy alone if this and this and this happens. And I have to ask, okay, well, where are your interests? What do you want to do? Because obviously, no, <laughs> like this guy or girl wants to be rid of you. Uh, where would you like to go? Right? So it's, it's a thing where you don't just ask a client, a human, hey, what would you like to have? Oh, I want to be free of this. Well, if there's a demon in there, a dark presence, a thing, uh, what that dark thing wants to do is have fun. And if you make the client or yourself not fun for dark beings to play in, if you make yourself not a fun playground for dark presences and so on and so forth, you'll be free because they will go where the fun is. Everything in nature knows to go where the fun is. Humans may have a, an issue with that, like they don't quite know, oh, hmm, and so they stay stuck in jobs for 20 years that maybe they don't like. But that's another matter. Um, so this is what I want to say, that everything, in order to connect with you, it has to match your energy level, your body voltage. You, if, if it's all high, you can't have connections to low being beings. Either you have to lower yours or they have to raise theirs. It's just, it, it can't connect otherwise. Um, what else? I think this is it. Um, so just... If, if you look at just the good nutrition, the good dieta, the good uh, movement, your oxygen, your lymph, your water, hydration, if everything goes well, um, that's all you need.